Little Scout in the Exuma Bahama Islands, with illustrations by Dolly 2 Artificial Intelligence. The Little Scout is an adorable kitten who lives with his person, an old man. One day the old man bought an old sailboat. He fixed it up and they tried it out in the Florida Keys at a very special island called Boca Chica. They had the entire island to themselves all week. Then every weekend dozens of people will come to a big party on the island. Then all the people would leave every Sunday night and they would have the island all to themselves again. After several weeks at Boca Chica on a day when the winds were just right, they sailed out to sea. Soon they were so far from land that all the little scout could see was water everywhere in every direction. Later that afternoon they arrived at another tiny island called Bimini. They had sailed away from the United States and were now in a completely different country. The little scout's person went ashore to get permission for them to travel in the Bahamas. They spent the night in Bimini Harbor before sailing out to sea again very early in the morning. They sailed all day and all night before reaching some more islands. These were called the Berry Islands. They anchored in a small bay at Whale Key near another lighthouse. After getting a good night's sleep, they explored the lighthouse early in the morning before sailing out to sea again. They sailed through daytime and nighttime again before finally reaching Allen's Key in the Exuma Islands. When they explored Allen's Key, they discovered that the island is home to hundreds of giant iguana lizards. The little scout was afraid because some of the iguanas were bigger than he was. After the little scout and his person had visited with the iguanas, they got back in the boat and sailed a short distance to Highborn Key. They spent the night in a marina at Highborn, and a nice man drove them to a restaurant in a golf cart. The next morning they set sail again and reached Norman's Key just a couple of hours later. The little scout's person had lived on Norman's Key many years ago and they visited his old home and the places where his friends had lived on the island. They anchored the boat in a giant natural harbor called Norman's Key Pond. Every summer thousands of sharks come from all over the Bahamas to mate in the pond. The water around the boat was full of sharks. The old man loved the sharks and swam with them that afternoon. The next morning, they moved the boat to Norman's Key Harbor. They snorkeled around a sunken airplane in the harbor before having dinner at the Norman's Key Club. After several days at Norman's Key, the little scout and his person sailed south to Shroud Key. They took a small boat called a dinghy along a shallow winding river that went all the way through the middle of the island. The river ended at a pretty beach where they spent the day. They spent that night anchored near Shroud Key before sailing to Staniel Key. Many people at Staniel Key knew the little scout's person. They bought each other drinks at a bar with pictures of James Bond on the walls. The movie Thunderball was filmed when the old man worked there all day underwater with many submarines. The next morning they went to Pig Beach to see the famous swimming pigs of the Exuma Keys. As they approached, some of the pigs swam out to the boat and Little Scout's person fed them. Little Scout had never seen a pig before and they looked strange to him. When they left Staniel Key, they didn't sail south along the Exuma Islands. They went west, where they eventually found a 30-mile-long sandbar with several small islands. Off to the south of the sandbar were spectacular coral reefs with many large fish and huge lobsters. The little scout loved exploring the tiny islands by himself while his person swam in the sea. These islands were so small that the little scout couldn't get lost. 
For days they sailed along the sandbar for a few hours every afternoon. They stopped to explore a new island every day. On islands that had palm trees close enough to each other, the little scout's person would put up a hammock and they would sleep under the stars. Eventually, they reached a much larger island called Green Key. Centuries ago, Spanish explorers left goats on this island so they could hunt them whenever they came back this way again. Sometimes, Bahamians from Andros Island come there to hunt goats. There were no hunters today, and the little scout made friends with several goats. The little scout and his person spent many days at Green Key. They fed the goats, swam in the water, and even cooked some fish over an open fire. They had to wait for the winds to change before they could have an easy downwind sail back to Staniel Key. When the predicted change in the winds finally came, the little scout's person sailed their boat all the way back to Staniel Key. They sailed through daytime and nighttime and finally reached the island on the second day of sailing. The little scout and his person spent several more days at Staniel Key. They held parties where little scout's person feasted with friends. The little scout made friends with some lady cats that lived on Staniel Key. After several days at Staniel Key, the little scout and his person left very early one morning and spent a long day sailing south to Wardrick Wells. This island is headquarters of the Exuma Land Sea Park. They arrived late in the day and climbed a hill to watch the sunset. The next day, the little scout explored a giant skeleton on the beach. The skeleton was bigger than little scout's person because it was the skeleton of a whale. On another beautiful morning, the scout's person sailed their boat farther south to Farmer's Key. There was a nice harbor at the key, so they spent several days there. One afternoon, the little scout and his person swam with a school of eagle rays and fish in the harbor. The little scout loved sitting on the dock and watching fish in the crystal clear water in the harbor. He could see many colorful fish and some lobsters right below the dock. On another early morning, they sailed even further south along the Exuma Island chain until very late in the afternoon when they reached Rudder Key Cut. The little scout's person anchored their boat in a small natural harbor near the center of the island. In the morning, the little scout explored a sunken barge at the south side of the harbor with his person before sailing even further south to Great Exuma Island. Great Exuma is a much larger island than any of the other islands in the Exuma chain. It took two days to sail down the length of the island to Georgetown. Across the harbor from Georgetown is Stocking Island, where sailors have big parties every day. Sailors celebrated their arrival at Georgetown because it meant they had sailed the entire length of the Exuma Island chain. Every day some new sailors would arrive and everyone would celebrate their journey with them because everyone there had made the same journey. This is why they had a party every day. The little scout and his person stayed in Georgetown for a long time. As spring turned to midsummer, the little scout's person set sail back through all the beautiful islands until they got home to Florida. Summer and fall are hurricane season, and their boat was safe on its trailer in their driveway until next year.